Is that so crazy? I'm like, ah, crazy, crazy. <laughs> It's your girl Sophina the Diva back here again. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're gonna talk about your nerves at competition. We all have different things that we do when we're nervous, different habits that we do when we're nervous. We're talking about the eight nervous competition habits. That sounds like a tongue twister. I feel like that's really a lot to say. When I was thinking about this, I was just thinking about my scenarios of when I was competing and they were definitely different when I was in club elite and when I was in college I had like different mental aspects that I did but some of them were always the same so we're gonna get through these things and I'm gonna tell you like which ones I did and which other ones I like maybe other teammates did that helped them to or not even necessarily help them but kind of like proved and showed that they were nervous by the things that they did okay so we're gonna get into this one. Oh, I have to go pee. Oh, I'll be back, I have to go pee. I know I just went pee, but I gotta go again. Oh, okay. Okay, the next step. Should I go pee? I probably should go pee. I don't wanna pee myself. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go pee again. You going pee? We can go pee together. <laughs> okay, coming. Number one. This one I did all the time. Didn't matter. It's like, I think I even do that now in regular life. Like if I'm nervous going to like an audition or something like that, I still do this. So I think that anyone really does this. But when you have to go pee all the time. Like I know I always had to go pee before I went to floor because that was like my own like nervous thing. And also like when you're pounding. <laughs> this sounds so gross. <laughs> like... It's more of a gymnast thing because if you ask another gymnast they'll be like yes our bladder not that it's weak but like when you pound so hard it just like <laughs> pushes on your bladder <laughs> and you feel like you're gonna pee yourself so you always want to go to the bathroom before you go onto the floor because you don't want to have any accidents and there has been oh my gosh so I was at NCAA championships you know in 2016 and one of my teammates she was competing <laughs> she was flipping she did one of her tumbling passes and in the air she peed and like it was like <laughs> Ew, it's, that sounds so gross but it happens like that's one thing and like I know another time like when you were we were pulling mats like someone like fell and there was like a puddle of pee there as well <laughs> so this kind of stuff really happens so I suggest that you go to the bathroom before you go on floor especially <laughs> so gross guys i'm sorry but those are like real scenarios and if that's ever happened to you which i'm pretty sure it probably has maybe not to that extent because that's like really intense but you know you have that feeling where you're like ah ooh, maybe i pee myself a little bit anyway so that's one nervous habit when you just have to go pee all the time because one you don't want to pee yourself and two it's just like you're so nervous that you have to like keep going keep going so for me this was a thing i always went to the bathroom especially in competition always before floor and even if i didn't have to go i still went anyway you just never know. So that's number one. Hey, uh, before you go and compete, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, so remember yesterday, I told you that I went to school. And then when I went to school, I was like, oh, hey, you, hey, you. And then, like, they were like, hey, no, hey, no. And then I was like, okay. So then I was like, one plus one equals two. And then they were like, yeah, one plus one is two, and two plus two is four. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's so crazy. Is that so crazy? I'm like, ah, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Two, this wasn't me, although I can talk a lot. The person that's like always talking and like they don't really make sense. They're just like talking to pass time because they're so nervous and then they're talking a lot and really fast like me and they're like blah, 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 blah. and then like if you're the teammate that really doesn't like someone to like continuously talk to you so much then you're just like going crazy like can you stop talking to me? But you know you have the person that literally talks a lot because that's how they handle their nerves. All right, let's get in the zone. Number 
three, this was definitely me all the time, listening to music. Music is something that's just, it's amazing. It zones you out, you know, it makes you focus on what you want to do. So for sure, like, when I was getting ready before the competition, I would listen to music, get in my jam, like, get really pumped up. And then when I got to the competition, before we started warming up, I would, like, put my earphones in and I would go to each event, visualize, like, my routine, but while listening to the song and kind of got me into the groove and the move and stuff like that. So listening to music, I feel like, is very important, especially, like, who doesn't love music, you know? Whatever genre know you like put that in zone in but like when you're nervous it feels I feel like it like calms you down a bit so listening to the music is something really amazing but it's also like a nervous habit that you can kind of do cast 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 giants 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 stick 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 finished cast 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 giants 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 flip 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 stick finish cast 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 giants 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 flip 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 stick finish should i do it again yeah okay again cast 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 number four going through your routine so in a sense it's kind of it could kind of go into number three but it's not because like I did this a little bit, but not like in the sense where I was like overly obsessive, but like where you visualize your routine, you like do it with like hand movements, and then like you touch the, the event and you like you do it as well. So you kind of like keep going through your routine like over and over and over again, where like it's like really redundant, but it's like your nervous habit so that you can like actually like visualize your floor routine or beam, vault, bars, whatever it is, but really visualize it, but like to the point where it's like a lot, like you're just continuously visualizing your team, which it actually can help you. So that's like a really good technique as well, but some people make it a little bit overboard and look like, you know, but whatever floats your boat, you do you. Hey coach, uh, are you gonna spot me on this one? Great. Hey, hey coach, coach, are you gonna spot me on this one? Okay, awesome. <laughs> hey. Uh, can you can you stand there? I'm I'm about to go. You're gonna spot me on this one, right? Perfect. <sighs> oh, uh, oh, she's. Fr are you gonna are you gonna spot me on this one? I I know you already said that, but I just want to validate that you're gonna spot me because I can't go without you spotting me. Okay, great. Thank you. constantly keep asking I would say your coach a question like all the time so say you have a spot on your floor team or whatever and you constantly like are you gonna spot me are you gonna spot me are you gonna spot me you're like asking your coach the same question and they answer you like yes like calm down like everything's good like do you have water do you have water do you have water yes you have what like can I go to the bathroom can I go to the bathroom can I go like someone that just continuously keeps repeating themselves just like to validate whatever they're feeling inside but it's like a nervous habit when they already know the answer but they ask it anyway that's like another one all right it's warm up time Whew. all right and uh, next one next one okay Whew. I'll get it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, it's competition time. Great. <laughs> oh no, I just fell on everything. Oh no. Number six. This definitely wasn't me, but I do know some teammates that did this. The person that like always falls in warm up. So when you go to a competition, you always have warm up. You know, you have warm up on every event, you know, so you could get the jitters out, you know, all that kind of stuff. But there's some people that literally fall all the time in their warm up. Like they fall on every skill, every pass, all that kind of stuff. But yet when they go to compete, they like nail it. So, or, or they might fall too, I don't know. But you have the people that like, that's their nervous thing. It makes them not feel better, but when they fall all the time, that's like their nervous habit. But once they compete, it's like woo, yeah. And in practice, they're probably like always sticking their stuff. But like when it gets to like warm up, it's like, oh, why do I keep falling? I know when that happened to me, it's just like super frustrating. And then you're just not as confident in yourself when you go to compete. So if you're one of those people that always falls in warm up, try not to be one of those people because then you kind of lower your self confidence before you actually compete. And you don't want to do that. You want to be confident. Like you know what? I nailed it in warm up. I'm gonna nail it in the competition. So that's my advice for that one. Hey, uh, before you go and compete, I just want to let you know. Shh. 
been focusing. Four. And I'm like, oh my god, it's so crazy. Is that so crazy? I'm like, ah, crazy, crazy. Can you please be quiet? Oh my gosh, this girl is crazy. <laughs> Number seven, we have the person that doesn't talk to anyone. So, you know, we had the jibber jabber person, but now we have the person that will not talk to anyone. You say one word and it's like they're zoned in and they ignore you or they tell you to be quiet or whatever it is. I know that for me, when I was in elite gymnastics, it was only me. So it was just my coach and I. So yeah, I liked it to be quiet because who was really gonna talk to me? If someone from like another team started talking to me, I'm like, okay, you're trying to get me out my zone. Please, no talking. I mean, I wouldn't be rude like that, but in my head, I'll be like, oh my gosh. So I'd probably like walk away. But especially for Beam, that was one for me that I would literally like walk away from everybody and like zone in and like visualize my routine, not talk to anyone. But then when it came to floor, like I wanted to talk to people because that pumped me up. So, you know, you just have your different scenarios that you do, but you know, you definitely have people that just don't want to talk to anyone because that's their nervous habit. And if you get into their brain, they're gonna go off. Oh no! <laughs> Broken mirror, black cat, spilt salt. A catastrophe. It's a catastrophe. Okay, is it with the salt? Do I throw it over the left shoulder or the right shoulder? Which one's the good luck? Somebody help me. Do you have a four lip clover? Do, do you have a four lip clover? Oh no, this is a bad competition. It's bad luck. Okay, I forfeit. I forfeit. I cannot compete this way. I can't. And number eight. This was definitely me. Someone that has like the superstitions for everything. So like their bar has to be a certain way, their mat has to be a certain way, flipped a certain way, around a certain way, like pulled a certain way. And well for that, that really wasn't me. But I'm talking about for me, what I had to have was oatmeal. If you know me, if you've been following me for a while, you know this. I always had to have oatmeal before a competition. It didn't matter if the meet was at 7 o'clock p.m., uh, 6 in the morning, whatever time it was. If it was lunchtime, breakfast time, dinner time, I had to have oatmeal. I didn't care. And I blame my dad for that because when I was younger, when I started doing gymnastics, he would always make me oatmeal before a competition. And that, like made me compete really well because he always like you know tell me the nutritious facts like okay it has a good sufficient amount of carbs and all that kind of stuff and it sustains you oatmeal like coats your stomach in a way where you don't end up like feeling hungry you don't like burn through it really fast it's like a sustaining energy so you definitely should try that if you haven't oatmeal is bomb before anything that you're gonna do that's like vigorous uh so that's something that i've carried throughout my whole 15 years of gymnastics i always 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 have to have oatmeal before a competition and um, I wouldn't say it was a superstition but if I didn't have it which that was never the case then you know I would probably feel like that was a superstition but at first I was very very picky because I could only have my dad my dad's oatmeal but now or then I was like okay well he's not traveling with me he's not going to college with me so my dad cannot make my oatmeal anymore so I would literally like get those to-go ones because if the restaurant didn't have oatmeal then I at least had my little to-go oatmeal so just things like that so that was my superstition but other people have different superstitions okay guys that is the end of this video I hope you liked it comment below what other type of nervous habits that you had that you do or which person you may be or how many you may be because I know I was a lot of those in this thing uh, but maybe like a different circumstance but I hope you liked it please make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications and hit that like button also follow me on instagram at sophina the diva and on twitter at sophina underscore de jesus peace